Hello everybody and welcome to another live English class. I'm Christian and this is Kangaroo English. <laughs> um, it's Tuesday today, best day of the week. Uh, and, and I really hope that um, wherever you are in the world, whatever you're doing, um, I just hope that, that you're happy and healthy and I really hope that today you have the best day of your life. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Um, I have, um, I just want to say before I start that if you're not in the Facebook group, you should be in the Facebook group because um, there's lots of exciting things happening in the Facebook group. Um, this morning I uploaded some new homework for the Facebook group, um, some homework about superheroes. It's pretty, uh, pretty exciting. Um, and also in the Facebook group, you know, you have an opportunity to meet some, some, some partners, some speaking partners, um, and opportunities to, to communicate and express yourself. Um, and also, um, if you would like to support um, what I do, then you can become my patron on Patreon. Um, the links for all of this are, are down below. And also, you can buy some you can buy some very stylish kangaroo English merchandise. See you in class. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, let's have a look at who we have here. We have um, Sanket is here. Um, Tomasz. Tomasz, Tomasz Anczak from Poland. <laughs> How's my Polish pronunciation? Nailed it. Um, we have Alexandra Gotardo in Brazil, Flor G in Argentina, Patricia from France. Hello, Gosh is here. White Rose, Enes Ahmed in Turkey, Rachid Bulace, uh, M. Nguyen, Ricardo Durante. Uh, Getulio Willian in Brazil, Katarzyna Latkoska La La in, in Poland as well, Carlos Torres, Sandra Mourinho, um, Tati Sul, uh, Irina Irina, Nereida Figueiredo, no, Nereida Figueiredo, <laughs> Nereida Figueiredo <laughs> in Brazil, I assume, uh, Francesco Prosino, Amanda's here, Cow is here, um, Ooh, I wish I could read the Cyrillic alphabet. I'm sorry, I don't know how to. Uh, Tony Ward, Jerry, Adriana Ristaino in Argentina, Mariam Sadek, Damien Sava, Dennis, uh, Roberto Esposito, Mike Saw, Jen Bat. Wow, uh, too many people, an incredible amount of people. Hello, hello. Um, okay, today we are going to do two things, two things. Well, three things, three things. The first one is we are going to play, we're gonna play a word game to warm up. It's a pronunciation game, pronunciation word game, okay? First thing. Second thing is we are going to describe people's appearance, okay? But we are going to learn, we're going to learn some adjectives and, and nouns to describe appearance that are more, more uncommon, more strange, okay? Because it's more interesting, it's more fun. Like, we're not going to say, she's tall and she's thin, no, no. These are adjectives that you probably have never heard in your life, okay? <laughs> and also, we're going to be talking about vocabulary for clothes, okay? Also, some strange vocabulary for clothes. And finally, we're going to describe personalities. But again, personalities with strange vocabulary. Okay? So, the first thing is let's talk about our pronunciation word game. Okay? So, basically, I'm going to draw two pictures. Okay? Two pictures that have... They are... Um, they, they have... The, the words to describe the pictures, they sound 
exactly the same. Okay? They sound the same. Homophones. Homophones are words that sound the same. Homo, same. Phone, sound. Homophone, right? That's where we have other words where two things are the same. Like homogenous and homo sapiens. Okay, so let me draw the first two pictures and see if you know what these words are, okay? Now remember, I am a professional artist. Okay, here we go. Um. Okay. Um. Okay. Now, th this, is, this is a beard, okay? This is important. This is important that the person has a beard. Very important. Okay, ta-da, finished. <laughs> so, who knows what these two words are that are homophones that sound exactly the same to describe these two things? Hmm. It's... <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's... The beard... The beard is important to... The beard is important because I want to say that this is not a woman. It's not a woman, okay? It's, an, it's a man. Okay, so what are the two words that sound the same? Oh, Alejandro, Alejandro, Alejandro Wolf. Wolfley, very good. And also Amanda was a very close second. And Sanket and Patricia, very good. We have male and male. Very nice, very nice. Um, they sound identical. The pronunciation is exactly the same. Um, <laughs> this, this, uh, I'll, I'll tell you a joke, okay? It's... It's, um, it's not a dirty joke, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit saucy. <laughs> not saucy. It's not saucy. It's just have, um, okay. There's, there's a very, um, a very, very funny film from the 1980s, maybe, or maybe 1990s called, um, it's called, um, the Three Amigos, okay? Oh, do, do you know this film, Three Amigos? Um, okay, <laughs> hang on, because some of you are saying that the, the, the image is flipped? Really? I, I can't believe this. Maybe this is a new, um, maybe this is a new, oh man, obviously, Obviously, YouTube have changed. They've changed the um, uh, the, the the app. I, I didn't change it. I promise. YouTube changed the app. And there's no um, there's no control. There's no control for this. Uh, I can't believe it. Let me see. Glamour. I can. <laughs> there there's, there's these other ridiculous settings, but no setting to flip the image around. I can't believe this. It's ridiculous. Well, um, I'm sorry. Uh, I I will look at the settings um, when I... Uh, let me see if I can... Okay. This is the other side. Hello. <laughs> but that that doesn't... That doesn't fix the problem. That, that doesn't help. Man. Okay, um... Yeah, I need to, uh, I don't know, I have to look at the settings. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I, I'm, using my, I'm using my mobile telephone, and normally this is not a problem, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, it will be okay. I'm going to continue, no problems. Okay, so, um, uh, there's this film called The Three Amigos, and The Three Amigos are, are um, uh, standing in the desert... 
and there's an aeroplane. Okay, the aeroplane flies overhead. And and um <laughs> and the uh one of the, the three amigos says, um, I wonder I wonder what type of aeroplane that that is. And and the other amigo replies, I think it's a male plane. And they say, Really? How did you know? <laughs> and, and the amigo says, because I could see its little balls. <laughs> it's such a bad joke. It's, it's such a stupid joke. But, <laughs> but you know, well, well, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Okay, okay, so, um, you know, the plane has, well, anyway, okay, <clears throat> let's do another one, let's do another one. Josephine Stephanie, seriously? Seriously? <laughs> that was so quick. Oh, I can't believe it. That was really good. Wow. Okay, so you guys, you guys know this one. No problems. Um, this is hair, of course, hair. But this one here is the it's similar to a rabbit, but it's bigger. Okay, it's like a big, it's like you know, the, the Arnold Schwarzenegger of rabbits. It's called a hare. Hair. Let me see if I can, um, if I can help you. Ready? Okay, so we have to do this, right? <gasps> Is that... Look! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> I have... I have magical abilities. Wow. <laughs> um, hair, and this is hair, like this, right? Hair. Woo! <laughs> I, <laughs> oh no, I can feel something, I can feel something taking control of my hand. What? What? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not, I'm not in control of this, I don't know what's happening. I don't, what? Oh no! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, I'm going, I'm going to try and, and <laughs> continue with this. Right, left, okay. Uh, another one, another one. Ooh, um... Okay, okay, this one is maybe, this one, this one's more, this one's more difficult. Mm. <sighs> no, it's not cup and cup. It's not cup. It's, um... This and this. Ooh, okay, so cow. Yes, it is tea. Good. That's correct. Very good cow. She got it. It's T and T. T and T. T and T. Um, basically, this this T is the little you know the little plastic thing when you're playing golf. You 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 this 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 is a golf ball by the way. That's a that that's a golf ball. So um 
So yeah, the, the little, you know, the little plastic thing you, you put in the ground to, to hit the ball, it's called a tee. And as somebody said, who said that? Mike Saw. Uh, Mike Saw said that you tee off. To tee off is the phrasal verb to start playing golf, to hit the ball, because you tee off. I'm sure that there are lots of jokes about tea and tea and teeing off and, you know, I'm sure that, you know, but something, now I personally, I hate golf, right? Hate golf. Um, but I, I've discovered that the reason that people like golf is not because they play golf. It's because they go after golf to the clubhouse to drink beer and have dinner. This is really... The attraction of golf, right? Do you want me to do that No. <laughs> you can still come and say hi if you want. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, let's, let's do another one. Let's do another one. This is, I think this is the most difficult. The most difficult. Hmm. God, it's a terrible. Ooh, okay, so Sharpord. Sharpord, you have one of them correct. Very good. Uh, Sharpord has one correct, but this one is more. <laughs> I don't know how to draw it. Ooh, very good. Feo has it correct. Very nice, Feo. Very nice. Leak and leak. <laughs> so this to, to leak, this is the verb, the verb when something escapes, normally a liquid. Although you can have a leak of gas, a leak of, um, of information, you know, like WikiLeaks. Right. Um, yeah, so something, it's basically something escapes from a container that shouldn't escape. It leaks, right? Yeah. Uh, maybe your car has an oil leak or your, your, yes, in computers, you have a memory leak. Exactly, Jashik. Um, and leak, this, this is the vegetable. You know the vegetable? Um, it's sort of like a... I can't describe it. It's like a sort of long with with hairs <laughs> and it's like made of cylinders. Um, it's similar to an onion, similar to an onion. I can't remember the um, the name in. Hey, hey George. Does d does anybody? Ah, yes, of course, a porro. <laughs> a porro in Italian. Porro. In Spanish, puero. Exactly. Um, uh, a leek plant. Exactly. In Polish, por. And in French, poireau. Poireau. Hey, wait a minute. Are you saying that Inspector Poirot was called Inspector Leek? What? In Turkish, it's called a pirasha. In Russian, Utechka. <laughs> I love doing the Russian accent. It's so great. Hey, Sergei, give me Utechka. <laughs> hey, I want Utechka for dinner. <laughs> so Russian. God. Best Russian accent. <laughs> uh, okay, final one. Final one. Okay. Um... Uh. <laughs> Ru 
Rodrigo says, <laughs> Rodrigo's a funny guy. He says he can't play the game because the speed of his internet is the same as the speed of the Brazilian Congress. <laughs> oh, so good. <laughs> Ooh, okay, very good. So some of you have this correct. Yes, this is called a vein. A vein. Is that right? No. <laughs> it's deep. How do I do an N backwards? Like this? No. Oh, man, that's really... Ah. Uh, ah, uh, vein. Okay, so that's a vein. The pronunciation is vein. And what about this one? Have you ever seen these? You know, you have these on, on top of the house. And in the wind, in the wind, they change direction. They're called a vein. Oh, no, I have to write it this way, huh? Oh, man. Okay. A vein. Vein. Vein and vein. Vein and vein. And you can... <laughs> a wind pointer. Yeah, exactly. A wind pointer. Um, so you can... You can um, if, if you want to say that something is like really, you know, really personal to you or something is really um, important to you, you can say, you can say it's in my veins, right? Like the English language is in my veins. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. Um, and, and also, yes, you can say that you do something in vain, which means that you do it, um, it's, um, it's, oof, how can I describe that? Um, it's like you do something, but the, it, it won't change the result. Okay. It won't change the result. It's like you do it, but it has no effect. For example, they tried in vain to stop the river which means they tried to stop the river, but it was not successful. Or <laughs> he, he tried to get uh, a nine in his IELTS exam, but it was in vain. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, now, <clears throat> I think that we are warmed up. So now we are going to do some, some, some vocabulary for describing appearance, some vocabulary for describing um, people, right? Uh, but some strange vocabulary. Okay, so let's, um, let's, 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 I'm going to give you the vocabulary. If, if you have some paper, if you have some paper, that would be great. You can draw the person, okay? Or if not, no, no problems. So, um, first we're going to describe a, a, a woman, okay? A female. A woman. Oh my God, how about that? No, at the end. I can't do the end. Seriously, it has to go this way, like that. Yeah, a woman. A woman. Okay, um, so the first thing I want you to, to, to do is draw the woman. Okay, the woman, yeah. So she has, she has an oval face, an oval face. You know what this means, an oval face? Do you know what an oval is? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's not round, it's not square, it's oval. Oval. So we have round, square, and then we have oval. So an, an oval is like a squashed, like an egg. Yeah. Well, this, this is where the word comes from. Oval, it comes from the Latin ovo. Ovo. 
So um, she has an oval face. Uh, there is a word that sounds similar, which is awful. Awful. But that's different. It's like an ellipsis. Sure. <coughs> okay, so she has an oval face and she has a pony. Who knows what a pony is? So she has an oval face. And she has a pony as well. <laughs> it, it is a little horse. It is a little horse, but it's something, a type of hair. Exactly. It's called a pony tail, right? So a ponytail is like this, right? Uh, we have the... Maybe, maybe with an elastic band. Okay, maybe she has a... <clears throat> okay, so it's the pony, the pony, right? <laughs> okay. Um, and also, she has bangs. Bangs. She has bangs. Does, does anybody know what bangs are? Anybody have any ideas? Very good. Bill Doucet. Correct. Okay, so you, you <laughs> I don't have any hair. Okay, but, but bangs is basically when you have your fringe. Okay, you have your fringe, but it's very straight like this. Okay, so it's very low and very straight. Bangs. Um, there is an actress, an actress, um, oh, what's her name? Ugh. She has bangs, always. I can't remember her name, but yeah, bangs, like this. Okay, so I'm going to do bangs. Okay. She has bangs, nice. Okay, the next thing is, um, she has freckles. Yes, of course, Sia. <laughs> Sia has really long bangs, but well, um, what about Sia? Um, Sia. <laughs> freckles. Does anybody know what freckles are? Freckles. Freckles. Yes, very good. Some little dots, some, some small spots. Exactly, very good. She has freckles. She has freckles. She's so cute. <laughs> She's just... But also, something, something very nice that she has is she has a beauty spot. Does anybody know what a beauty spot is? A beauty spot. Ooh, very nice. Uh, yes, it's like a mole, like a black, like a black dot. Exactly. Yeah, maybe on, maybe here, here, the classic, the classic beauty spot here on her, on her lip. All right, very nice. Wow, what an attractive girl we have here. Uh, okay. Next, she has hoops. Any idea what that means? Hoops? Uh, hoops? She has hoops. <laughs> Alberto, stop. <laughs> um, yeah. Anybody know how I can draw some hoops on this? Um, okay, very good. Raja Hussein, very good. Hoops. 
Yes, all of these words are very common. They are not uncommon words. They're very common, okay? Exactly, she has hoops. Okay? Big hoop earrings. Hoops. Think about hula hoop. You know the hula hoop? Because huh? it's a big hoop, a big ring, right? <laughs> Uh, okay, what else does she have? Oh, um, now let's talk about clothes, okay? Uh, she is wearing a crop top. <clears throat> does anybody know what a crop top is? Crop top? Um, if you use, very good Raja Hussein, if, if you use, um, if you use a, a computer, maybe you see this word, to crop. Crop is another word for to, to cut, right? To cut is to crop, so it means that the, the top, the top is cut, right? So if we draw her like this, maybe, oh my god, um... Um, maybe the top is like this, right? <laughs> you see, it's cropped, it's cut along here. Cut, 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 cut. A crop top. So we can see her... Who knows, who knows what this thing is called? Does anybody know the, the little... <laughs> it's a very important, a very important word. Oh, Raja Hussein, very good. We have... <laughs> Danielle said that she's one of those punks wasting time near the train station. <laughs> Very good, very good. So, um, you can call it a navel or a belly button. Oh, I have to write backwards. Damn it. Belly button. Well, okay. Okay. Um, okay, um, now, she is also wearing an A-line. Who can tell me what that is, an A-line? Ooh, Rogelio, very nice. Not trousers, Rogelio is correct, it's a skirt. And it's an A-line because, you see, it's like the letter A. Like an A, so it's called an A-line skirt. It comes in and it goes out like an A. Okay? A-line. And on her feet, on her feet, she is wearing edge. Uh, <laughs> she's wearing wedges. Wedges. Anybody know what wedges are? Hmm. Not socks. They're not a type of socks. And they're not necessarily made of wood. No. The material is not important. It's the, the shape of the, um, of the wedges that are important. What can we say is important about them? They're shoes, exactly. They are a type of shoe, but what? Uh, hemlohumi, very nice. It's the basically a triangle, okay? In um, this, this shape is called a wedge. So maybe if you if you want to stop, if the door the door is always closing, and you're like ah door. 
you put a wedge under the door. Okay? To stop the door from, from opening, you put a door wedge. And also, yes, it's, it's a type of golf club. Because the front, the front of the golf club is like this. So when you hit the ball, the ball goes wedge. And so she's wearing wedges. I'm not, I'm not very good at drawing things. Oh, wow. Something like this, right? <laughs> yeah. Wedges. And she's, um, now she's complete. She said, maybe actually, <laughs> no, not, not clear, not clear wedges, okay? Clear wedges are not a good thing to wear, except if you have a very specific job, <laughs> okay? Otherwise, don't wear clear wedges, okay, please. Um, now, now, maybe, yeah, maybe to, maybe to complete, to complete the look, maybe some, um, I think, Maybe some rainbow leggings, you know, some multicolored rainbow leggings, and maybe, maybe a clutch. Mm. Clutch. <laughs> clutch. Clutch is a verb. The verb is to clutch, is to hold, right? I'm clutching the paper. Now a clutch is called a clutch. It's a type of bag. It's a small bag. Like, maybe like, you know, like this. Well, bigger than this, but... And it's called a clutch because you have to continuously hold the bag. It has no... It has no straps, no handles. You can't put it over your shoulder. You have to continuously hold the clutch. It's a clutch. Personally, I don't understand why. <laughs> you know, I, I want a practical bag. You know, a practical bag. Okay, now let's, um, let's do a man. This is, this is our beautiful woman. Everybody's in love. Now let's do a man. Okay. Damn it! <laughs> Every time! Oh. There we go. Man. Yay! If, if, somebody, <laughs> if somebody came into this room right now and saw me writing backwards, th they would call the police. <laughs> He's gone crazy! <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> or he's writing Russian. He must be some type of criminal. Call the police. Okay. Um, now, now we're going to draw the man. Now the man is not very attractive. I'm sorry. Although maybe, maybe we can make him attractive. It depends on what type of man you like. Huh? Okay. So <clears throat> let's say um, that. Um, let's, let's start with, with, um, with his, his, his head, right? Let's start with his head. Um, and we're going to say that he has a lantern jaw. Okay. That's a good one. This one, lantern jaw. No, no, damn it. The other way, Christian. Ugh. A lantern jaw. Does, does, does anybody know what this means? A lantern jaw? Who knows what a lantern is? Hmm. Ooh, yes. Daniel Senpai. Exactly. Um, it is, um, 
<laughs> Arabic writing. Um, <laughs> Uh, no, not not really, not really Arabic Arabic writing. No, but um, I I I I have been practicing my my Arabic um, a little bit, um, but it's not easy. <laughs> uh, I have to think. Um, I have to think about some some Arabic sentences. Okay. Um, um, uh, uh, I'll tell you after. <laughs> okay, so a, 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 a lantern, a lantern is basically a um, a, a, a portable light, right? You know, like a, like oh no, that's a terrible point. Oh, I don't know how to draw a lantern. Maybe like this with some glass, you know, and then there's the light coming out. So, but a lantern, a lantern is square, right? It's square, so, so, you know, um, uh, so, so he has a square jaw. <laughs> this is our man, okay? Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, like, um, like, uh, uh, uh action heroes, you know, they have a square jaw, they have a lantern. <laughs> maybe like, yeah, maybe like Spongebob square pants. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so now this person, oh, or very good art pal like Dolph Lundgren. What happened to Dolph Lundgren? Ah, okay, so um, he, he has a Goatee, a goatee. <clears throat> Does anybody know what a goatee is? Uh, yes, it's a beard, it, it is a beard, but what type of beard? Think about the animal. Think about the animal. Exactly like from a goat, only on the chin, exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, look, uh, see the goat. <laughs> this is a goatee. Okay, and also, ah, uh, unfortunately, Unfortunately, he is receding. Mm. Uh, like this. Ooh. Does anybody know what this means when you are receding? Mm. Okay, so it's not exactly bald, okay? so. I am receding. You see, my hair is to recede means to go back. You see, my hair is slowly going back. See? Um, so it's receding. So he's receding. He has the typical, you know, the typical thing here. Look at that. Isn't he beautiful? <laughs> the, 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 the bad thing, the terrible thing about receding is that is that um, I, I spend I spend about ten minutes washing my face because my face continues up. <laughs> my face is up here, right? It's like, look, this is my face. <laughs> um, yeah. So in entradas, we would say that you are you're receding. Right? You you are receding. Right? Um, uh, okay. What else? Ooh, okay. Also, the, the, the man, he has a bridge. A bridge. A bridge. 
Does anybody know what this could be? How can a person have a bridge? What is it? Does anybody know? A bridge that goes from, from one side to the other side. It crosses like a bridge. Like a bridge. It's not in his teeth. No, it's nothing in his teeth. No. A bridge is actually a type of piercing. Okay, you know the piercing here? So you have one piece of metal here and another piece of metal here, and it goes through your nose here. Okay, this is called a bridge because this is the bridge of your nose here, right? So he has a bridge. <laughs> Yes, we have another punk. <laughs> another punk. And also, he has a gestrum. Now, this is more easy to Google. A gestrum. No, wrong way, Christian. Uh, a gestrum. Does, it, does anybody know what a gestrum is? It's another type of piercing, but it's in a different place. Okay, your gestrum is here. Right? Imagine, imagine if you had a piercing here. You have the little ball here. No, Sparky. That's something different. This one here, okay? This here. So this is your philtrum. Your philtrum, and he has a piercing here in his, in his philtrum. Uh, he has a, a, a gestrum. <laughs> okay, what else? Um, okay, he is a gym junkie. He is a gym junkie or a gym rat, <laughs> as Daniel Senpai says. He goes to the gym a lot because a junkie is a person who is addicted to something. So you could be a television junkie or, uh, 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 I don't know, like a, a coffee junkie. But he's, he's, a, he's a gym junkie. He's addicted to going to the gym. So he is swole. Uh, S, I can't remember how to do the S. Oh, I like that, okay. Anything else? He's swole. Okay. Swole is a person who's very, very muscly, but they also have a lot of fat. So they're very big, but also they're fat, okay? Like, just like an enormous person. I'm not very good at things like this. Okay. Okay. Who knows what the name of this is? You know, the, the, this, the, well, I, I don't, I don't have them, but, but, <laughs> well, I do have them. They're just underneath, underneath other things. <laughs> Ooh, very nice. Who, who, who said it first? It was Shapur. Very good. We call it the six pack. The uh, six backwards. Oh my god. Uh, like this, I think. Six. A six pack. Oosh. Do you remember which which film was it? I think it was a film with with um, Jean Claude Van Damme, and they were dropping dropping coconuts on his um, dropping coconuts on his on his stomach. <laughs> yes, it's true. He he he's his six pack is well 
not very clear, but you know, because he's so swole, right? Um, I, my, in, in Spanish, in Spanish, they call this uh, chocolate block, you know, because it looks like a, it looks like a block of chocolate. I like that. I think it's cool. Um, okay. Now, now, <laughs> now, here's the final, the final thing about this man. Okay. The final thing about this man is that, um, he is wearing his birthday suit. birthday suit. <laughs> who, kn who knows what, what your birthday suit is? What is your birthday suit? It's not thick pants. It's not thick pants. Um, it's a very special, a very special thing to wear, your birthday suit. <laughs> yes, exactly, Eva. Uh, it means that you are naked. You are nude. You are not wearing any clothes. You are in your birthday suit because when you are born in the hospital on your birthday, you're naked. You're naked. So this is your, your birthday suit. So he's completely, he's completely naked. <laughs> Pelado. <laughs> Golas. Uh, I assume that some of these words are, um, are you know, uh, words in other languages for naked. There's his, his pecs, his big pecs, <laughs> en bolas. Yes, um, okay, he is, <laughs> he is anatomically missing, missing something. He is missing his, in English we say, his meat and two vegetables. <laughs> his tackle. His his <laughs> his um. Uh, what else could we say? His uh. There's so many things to say. His his salami. <laughs> his, uh, his um. John Hancock. <laughs> there's so many things. There's so many words. But yes, he's. He's, he's similar, his junk, very good, his junk, his, his genitals, that's the correct, the correct thing to say. In the Dominican Republic, in cuero. Ah, oh, makes sense, in, in skin, yeah. His cucumber, his chorifo. <laughs> um, okay, okay. <laughs> um, I, I just... I just, I just want to show you what this looks like in reality, okay, look at this. Look at the ready. Here we go. Turn around. Look. This is this is what this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's crazy. It's all backwards. You see, if you if you came in right now, you would think that I'm I've gone in completely insane. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um. Now let's do just a few, a few personality adjectives, okay? So, um... <clears throat> now, I'm curious, how would you, how would you describe a person who is very energetic a person who is always happy with a lot of energy does anybody know what would be your your adjectives okay active lively vivacious and dan stefan has nailed it very good dan stefan uh perky uh, proactive Proactive is more abstract, motivated, optimistic, optimistic, I think more ab abstract, excited, yeah, 
full of energy, but, but um, the, the, the adjective I had in my mind is bubbly. You are, you are like uh, a Coca-Cola, a fizzy drink with lots of bubbles, okay? You're happy and energy, okay? You're bubbly. It's a great word. It's because bubbly is not just energy. It's like happy energy, okay? <laughs> and it's not negative. It doesn't, it doesn't mean that you have a lot of gas, okay? <laughs> it's not related to the, to the tripa, okay? <laughs> um, uh, ooh, 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 okay. This is more, this is more posh, this one. Okay, forthright, very good. It's one, one word, okay, one word joined together. Forthright. So think about it. Forth. Forward. Forward. Forthright. A forthright person is a person who is very honest and direct and frank, as Raja Hussein said. Yes, exactly. A person who's very... Um, Direct and Frank is forthright. Maybe not blunt. Could be blunt. Blunt means you have no tact. You are not sensitive to other people's feelings. Blunt is very negative, but forthright could be negative or positive. Wow, some, some great synonyms from you, all of you here. Straightforward, uh, direct, really good. I mean, you can look at these comments and find some great, some great words. You, you are all incredible students, really. Very good. Uh, what else? Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gruff. Hmm. Gruff. Does anybody know what... Um, what this means. Gruff. Uh, think about the sound. Gruff. Gruff. <laughs> it's a person who is like, like a bear. Gruff. Like a little bit, you know, sort of serious and like, <laughs> like a bear. Like maybe a, a, a serious sort of attitude and, um, and, uh, you know, like, you know, <laughs> um, harsh, yes, harsh, rude, um, a, a raspy, wow, raspy, great one, Lutzer, grumpy, exactly, a, a, aggressive, maybe not aggressive, just gruff, grumpy, it's very similar to grumpy, like Sylvester Stallone, exactly, Sylvester Stallone is gruff, it's perfect. When you think of this word, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> okay, uh, let's do one more. My favorite one. <sighs> well, difficult to read, sorry. Flamboyant. Does anybody know what this one means? To be flamboyant? Um, it's, um, it's a person who is like eccentric and extravagant. So for example, the perfect celebrity who is flamboyant is Elton John. So for example, Imagine if, 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 I go, if I go to a celebrity party where there are all the celebrities, I wear this, I wear a jacket, like a grey jacket, and that's it, okay? But Elton John, 
Mr. Flamboyant, when he goes to the party, he wears a pink suit with a yellow stripy sequined jacket and big glasses and a crazy hat. Okay, it's like, it's like a person who is extremely outside of the, um, out of the normal, um, sort of, you know, the, the normal, um, parameters of society. <laughs> okay, like, uh, yeah, flamboyant. It's a great word. It's a great word. Um, um, so yes, um, uh, well, so today we learned lots of new and interesting vocabulary to describe people and personalities. And, um, and now it's, um, it's, it's time for me to go and, uh, and, and do some, do some work. Um, but don't worry, there will be another, another special live class this week. Um, probably on Friday morning. So I look forward to seeing you all again on Friday morning. Um, thank you all very much for watching. You guys are great students. Um, yes. Thank you, Shukran, uh, Ana is mi Christian, uh, yo soy Christian, <laughs> and I'll, I'll see you in class again very, very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Lots of love. <laughs>